Yo hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video WordPress enthusiasts in today's tutorial is all about creating your very own WordPress theme in 2024 whether you are a developer diving into the code or a DEY enthusiast stay tuned as we embark on the journey of creating unique WordPress theme from scratch so before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, having a WordPress theme is very important since the theme gives the vibes and can give an idea about what is it like to have your website. For example, if I'm going to a dentist website, I should have a decent template that works for a dentist. If I'm having a restaurant the website, it should be matching my restaurant it has to have my menu my logo my colors and even some pictures about my web about my location let's say for example i have an e-commerce website it should have the necessary product page and shop menu and all of these different kind of stuff that are necessary to be in my templates and this video specifically we are going to talk about templates and how we can make one from scratch or how to basically make our own template or WordPress so to make your own template on WordPress is something that really need a high level of skills if you are going to depend only on coding since making an appearance is simply by going to the theme file editor as you can see right here on this menu so you simply have to go right here on the side and basically after that you will have here guys all of these different theme files and etc so you will have a lot of things going on so in case you are good with php as you can see with css with kind of stuff like that then you might be ready to go and start making your own theme but today we need something easy we need something to go very easy on people who just got started with wordpress just getting started with page builder options and want to make their own theme well in that case you have to get some plugins that's gonna help you during your journey so the first thing is to go to the plugins and install a new plugin as you can see right through this button and after that you should search for a plugin or web page builder so here page builder there is a lot of plugins there is elementor there is site origin there is gutenberg blocks there is seed broad there is a lot of page builder plugins that you cannot even count with your hands so the most like common one to be used is basically Elementor. Elementor is pretty easy to use, has zero problems during the like uh, customizing your websites, and the best thing about it is you get a free version that comes with it that has almost all the necessary needs that you might need in order to make your web page you can drag and drop pictures you can drag and drop images um, galleries um, I don't know you name it and you will find that you can have maps uh, you can also find videos you can find a lot of features in Elementor itself so here let me check if we have any screenshots yep this these are some really decent screenshots as you can see here you just go drag drop and as you can see right in front of you it's just gonna be added doesn't matter if it is a button if it is a picture it's a text just drag it drop it wherever you'd like it to be on your website at the top at the bottom below the picture after the picture hover the picture make the text hover the picture inside of it instead of a solid color whatever you think of you will find it right there also as you can see there is text there's image there is video there is divider there is a lot of symbols and button styles that you can add with elementor of course this is only with the free version imagine with the premium version you can literally make templates not but not templates like for websites but you can for example make a widget design and save it and whenever you need one you can simply just go to the saved template drag the widget and put it on your website whatever place you need so this is for elementor now we have also some uh, other page builders 
so as you can see here there is all these different kind of page builders so as you can see here they so for the site origin it might look hard not gonna lie it is hard to manage uh, it has a lot of options doesn't have a lot of visuals so it can help you unlike uh, for example uh, Elementor you just have to see the logo of text and you will manage to know that this is about text but here as you can see there is no logos everyone everything has the same logo but it has different text so you have to keep reading it each by each so you can manage to have idea about each one of these uh, things what they do so for the seed product also you have some kind of a really good uh, page builder that looks like elementary as you can see here you just have to drag and drop and as you can see it is free it has the headline the the needed thing from countdown social profiles contact form progress bar icon box our call uh, you can even have a custom html and a lot of things going on in there and basically these page builders are are the ones who are going to make you help you manage to make your templates so here as you can see this image is added by this page builder itself so simply by going right here into the image section he dragged you drag the image and put it right there for the text simply as you can see this is a heading text so simply just go to the headline text put it right there and manage to change it this is very very useful tools that you have guys to know about here also you have this other blocks it has the same thing somehow but yeah it is a little bit different than the others also it is kind of harder so I don't suggest you to go for it but I'm showing you all of these kind of different page builders depending on the the appearance theme that you are going to choose because some themes right here doesn't really allow you for example or doesn't support page builders as for example elementor or doesn't support the other ones so you have to go with the page builder that support that specific theme that you have chosen for your website of course for example you see this theme you think that you see it it is white simple doesn't look like what you want exactly doesn't really matter you just have to choose it and then you will customize it depending on your needs what you have to change about it from colors from logo from pictures from sections everything is actually customizable 100% as long as you have these page builder tools between your hands and of course you have all the necessary knowledge about WordPress and that will boost you a lot so that's why I highly suggest you guys to watch all of our tutorials about WordPress they are gonna boost your knowledge a lot and you're gonna know some more tricks and tips about this specific app so yeah guys thanks a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial